Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be simulating a CMOS inverter and performing the DC characteristic analysis using the KiCad tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Click on file and select new select project now create a folder called as dc analysis underscore cmos and save this now double click on the schematic file and we will start working on this design click on place symbol and place the cursor on the schematic window you can see that the global library loads now type p spice and we have to select the p channel mosfet symbol for this simulation purpose place this particular symbol on the schematic window similarly type p spice in the filter and select the n channel mosfet and place this in the schematic window now we have to place the supply voltage for the CMOS inverter as well as the input voltage so in the filter type P spice and we have to select the voltage source symbol for the simulation purpose now in this design we have to place two voltage source one as the supply voltage for the CMOS inverter the other would be the DC voltage which would be the input now right click on the voltage source and click on properties edit properties define the reference as p in and the value as zero click on edit spice model define the dc voltage as 5 volts and click ok next right click on the another voltage source define the reference value as vdd value as zero click on edit spice model and the DC voltage as 5 volt now we have to place a global label so place a global label V in on the schematic window and also we have to place a global label VDD in the schematic window click on power port and place the ground connection in the schematic window now in order to copy the ground right click on ground and select duplicate in order to place multiple grounds now click on wire connect the label v in to the positive end of supply voltage and the negative end to the ground and vdd label to the positive end and the negative end to the ground next connect the gate of PMOS to gate of NMOS and the drain of PMOS to the drain of NMOS now we have to place the label VDD so place the label VDD on the schematic and click on wire connect the label VDD to the source of PMOS and connect the substrate to the source of PMOS next click on ground and place this particular ground in the schematic window connect the source to the ground and terminal 4 of NMOS to the ground now click on label and place this label V in on the schematic window and click on label and place the label V out on the schematic window now click on 
wire and connect the V in to the gate and V out to the drain of NMOS and PMOS. Now we have to place a input text. So click on graphic text and type the following syntax that is dot dc vn 0 to 5 and the incremental voltage as 0 0.1 volt and place this on the schematic window. Now we have to define the model for our PMOS and NMOS. So right click on the PMOS, click on property edit property, define the reference as M1 and click on edit spice model. Now we have to select the appropriate models. So select this particular model that is AON667 underscore P and define the alternate node sequence as 1, 2, 3. We can define the value as the model name. So copy this particular model name and place this on the value tab and click OK. Similarly, right click on the NMOS, select property, set it property, define the reference as M2 and we have to similarly select the model for the NMOS. Now select AON6667 underscore N and select the alternate node sequence as 1, 2, 3. Copy this particular model name. Now we will perform the DC analysis of the CMOS inverter. So save this and click on tools, select simulator and select run and stop simulation. Click on probe, place the probe on the V out. Now you can see the graph, which is the DC characteristics of the CMOS inverter. From the DC characteristics, we can note that when the input voltage is low, the NMOS is off and the PMOS is on. When the input voltage increases, both the PMOS and the NMOS is turned on. As the input voltage increases further, this causes the PMOS to turn off and the NMOS fully on. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.